Hello friends, welcome back to electromagnetic field theory. We are in chapter 2. We have gone through the concept of electric field intensity because of infinite uniform line charge and we have solved one problem based on to that particular concept. Let us take one more problem which involve the rectangular, cylindrical, spherical and some concepts which give us more exposure to find electric field intensity due to the given situations. The problem statement is given to us. This is a uniform line charge rho L is equal to 25 nanocoulomb per meter lies on the line x is equal to minus 3 z is equal to 4 in free space. Find E bar in Cartesian components at part A the origin part B at point 253 at point C having coordinates 460 degree 2 and at point having the coordinates 325 degree 90 degree. Now if we look at the problem statement the given data is that we are provided with line charge density. Line charge density is rho L 25 nanocoulomb per meter. Now in the previous problem there were two line charges they were infinite and uniform distribution. Now here we have only one line charge. So that line charge has this particular line charge density and the location can be determined by the values x is equal to minus 3, z is equal to 4. Now we are asked to find electric field intensity E bar in Cartesian coordinates, in Cartesian components, okay, at these points. Now the points, the origin, we know. This point, all are lengths, no degrees, no radians, that is why this is rectangular coordinate representation. One angle is there in part C, so this is cylindrical coordinate representation. These are two angles, 25 degrees and 90 degree, that is why this is spherical coordinate system representation. So let us solve this problem. To begin with the problem, we have to first of all draw the diagram which will give us more exact scenario of the problem statement. So here, first of all we draw x, y, z axis that are mutually perpendicular to each other. This is z axis, this is y axis and this one is x axis which is actually perpendicular to the plane of the paper. So I put here positive x negative x here, positive y, negative y on this side, negative z and z on to this side. Now a uniform line charge having rho L as line charge density lies on axis x is equal to minus 3, z is equal to 4. So we first of all mark minus 3 units on x axis. So this is minus 3 unit on x axis, z is equal to 4. Now z is equal to 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So on positive side we have this z equal to 4. From these two points we will draw lines parallel to x from this, parallel to z from this, the intersection here. So here we get the points x is equal to minus 3 and z is equal to 4. We have fixed the values of x and z. Y values we have not fixed. So it means there it is a line which passes through this particular point and that is parallel to y axis because y can hold the values minus infinity to plus infinity. So I draw a line with a different color. Let us say this is the line which is parallel to y axis. Parallel to y axis. So this is our line where the line charge rho L is given as 25 nanocoulomb per meter. Now because of this line charge, because of this line charge in the Cartesian components we have to find electric field intensity. So now the location of the source charge is clear to us. Now let us plot the field points. So first of all it is the origin. So origin is here. Okay. So now for part A Again, we will be using the formula E bar is equal to rho L upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho A rho cap. I again make it clear rho L is the electric uh, 
sorry, rho L is the line charge density that is given to us 25 nanocoulomb per meter and rho is the perpendicular distance. So from the origin, we have to drop a perpendicular onto this line. So now see, x it was equal to minus 3, z it was equal to 4. So we join a perpendicular onto the origin. So the perpendicular will be intersecting the line charge at this point. So this point has the coordinates x is equal to minus 3, z is equal to 4 and it will be y equal to 0. Okay, because x is equal to 0, y is equal to also 0, z is equal to also 0 at the origin. So this will be the perpendicular segment. So uh, this has a triangle. So this side has 3 units, this side has 4 units. So as like in the previous numerical, we are able to get the magnitude of this. We can sub substitute it here. We can have the vector divided by the magnitude. The vector will be like this. We can substitute it in the place of a rho cap. Rho L is already known to us. So for part A, we will obtain E bar is equal to 54 AX cap minus 72 AZ cap holds per meter. Now for part B, so this way we are finished with the first portion that is for the origin. Now for part B, we are supposed to have the field point at this location 253. So in the diagram, we will locate this point 253. So two units on X axis, 15 units this way somehow here, 15 units onto the Y axis. So I take the intersection here. So this is 2, 15 and 0 and we want 2, 15 and 3. I have to lift this by 3 units. So this is the point 2, 15 and 3. This is the field point and from this field point we have to drop a perpendicular onto this line charge. Now in the simple diagram I shall show, I shall show you if this is the line charge, the line charge is having x is equal to minus 3, z is equal to 4 and y is equal to what? So from the field point that is 2, 15 and 3, the perpendicular will be dropped on the particular line and it will intersect obviously into y equal to 15. So here the coordinates are minus 3, 15 and 4. The coordinates here at the field point are 2, 15 and 3. The vector will be oriented like this. The vector is always oriented. What is rho a rho cap from the source that is the charge itself onto the field point. Okay. It will be always away from the source. So here we again take the same formula E bar is equal to rho L upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap rho L cap already given to us. The points of the source position and that of the field position are with us. That is why we are able to calculate rho. The direction of a rho cap is already visible to us. So by substituting the values for part B at the field point 2153, we get the answer 86.5384 AX cap minus 17.3076 AZ cap holds per meter. So this is the answer for part B. So part B is here. This answer also we have got. Now let us focus on to the part C. In part C, the field point coordinates are given to us for 60 degree and 2. So 60 degree. So this is one angle. So it means it is cylindrical coordinate system. Rho is equal to 4, phi is equal to 60 degree and Z is equal to 2. So we are required to find the electric field intensity in Cartesian components. So we shall be requiring the transformation from cylindrical coordinate values to those of Cartesian which is also called rectangular components and will follow the same procedure to get the answer. So let us have 
the line charge is already known to us it has x is equal to minus 3 z is equal to 4 now the point the point is let us say p 4 60 degree and 2 so now rho is equal to this much phi is equal to this z is equal to this so first of all we will get the values of x y and z so z is common so it will be value 2 as it is x will be equal to so x is given as rho cos phi whereas y is given as rho sin phi therefore using rho cos phi it will be 4 cos 60 degree which is equal to 2 it will be 4 sin 60 degree so y will be equal to 3.4641 okay so the point p suppose what we take will be having the coordinates to 3.4641 and 2 in rectangular form now from this point we have to drop a perpendicular onto this line so it will be like this so on this point it will be y is equal to so y is equal to 3.4641 x is equal to minus 3 z is equal to 4 at this point the perpendicular will be dropped so to look at the conditions here we get the vector the vector represented rho a rho cap will be equal to phi u a x cap minus twice a z cap the rho we obtained here that is under root 29 25 u plus 4 it will be 29 a rho cap will be equal to phi u a x cap minus twice a z cap upon under root 29 so if we substitute it to the formula e bar will be equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 9 that is the value of royal line charge density then in the denominator we have 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 36 pi into under root 29 and the unit vector phi u a x cap minus twice a z cap upon under root 29 so finally upon calculations we get it e bar equal to 77.5862 ax cap minus 31.03448 az cap holds per meter now this is the answer for part c so here we are able to determine the value of electric field intensity at the field point with the given coordinates for 60 degree and 2 so these were first of all given to us in cylindrical coordinate system we have transformed them to the rectangular coordinates with this formula and then finally applied the formula for determining electric field intensity due to infinite and uniform line charge so we got the answer for c to be equal to this now let us move on to the last part of this problem statement that is part d so in part d the field point is given to us in 325 degree and 90 degree so here also we shall be converting it to the cartesian coordinates with some transformation formulae and then we'll apply the formula of e bar so let us do it so for part d we have the point that is 3 25 degree 90 degree so first of all we have r is equal to 3 theta is equal to 25 degree and phi is equal to 90 degree we want the cartesian coordinates so x y and z we have the transformation formula x is equal to r sin theta cos phi what we learned in our first chapter vector analysis y is equal to r sin theta sin phi z is equal to r cos theta so substituting the values of theta equal to 25 degree phi is equal to 90 degree we obtain x is equal to 
zero because it will be cos 90 cos 90 will be equal to zero zero multiplied by others will be equal to zero now y will be having equal to 1.2678 and z will be having the value 2.7189 so these are the coordinate values in terms of x y and z in the space so let us say this is our line charge having x is equal to minus 3 z is equal to 4 okay y equal to y right now and the field point here having x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1.2678 and z is equal to 2.788 so here we have the values of x y and z for the field point represented earlier as 325 degree and 90 degree so i have this field point here so x y and z will be having this value this is our line charge on this line charge we have x is equal to minus 3 z is equal to 4 that was already defined and y we take y so y will be 1.2678 where the perpendicular from the field point will be dropped and intersect the line charge from that point of intersection we can have rho a rho cap directed outwards so here for the electric field intensity we put the formula rho l upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap so rho l has the value 25 into 10 to the power minus 9 that is the conversion factor of nano in the denominator we have 2 pi epsilon 0 value is 10 to the power minus 9 upon 36 pi rho rho is the value for this problem we have obtained rho is equal to under root 10.6411 now the unit vector is 3 ax cap minus 1.2810 az cap divided by under root again 10.6411 so if we calculate it further we get e bar is equal to 126.86 ax cap minus 54.174 az cap unit will be volts per meter so this way we are finished with problem 2 based on to the electric field due to line charge so part d is also over in this problem whether the field point coordinates were in cylindrical or rectangular form we have got them converted to rectangular okay we have find out the perpendicular length from the field point to that of the line charge and we are able to apply the formula e bar is equal to rho l upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap rho l being the line charge density of the source and rho being the perpendicular distance of the field point from the source charge thank you